Okay, so now that the illumination is correct, what I want to do is increase a little bit the contrast here, try to reduce the noise and make a little lens corrections and also maybe a warming filter. So I'm going to start with uh, this. I need a little more contrast here. So I'm going to select the render layer and I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to replace the color again. I'm going to select this color. I'm going to play with the tolerance and I'm going to decrease the luminosity. So I don't want to decrease it so much, just a little bit. And that's mm, basically it. Now, uh, what else? Well, remember that I told you that we were not going to use detail enhancement this time. Well, uh, we're going to go to uh, sharpen in filters and smart sharpen. Now, uh, this little uh, filter here is terrific. You just have to know how to use it. And you just have to pay a lot of attention here so you don't get uh, any crispy edges. So I'm going to play with them. I'm going to bring it all the way uh, uh, to the end so you can see how it behaves and we can also play with these values I mean this is uh, completely uh, apart from reality but we can play with the settings and make the radius a little bit uh, smaller and play with this you can just copy my settings I am not uh, paying attention to them I'm paying attention uh, to the image so I like it uh, something like this maybe because I like the details I'm going to see what happens if I make this no, a little bit, this should be a little bit smaller a little bit smaller maybe a little bit more of this mm, ok, it seems to be that it's ok like this I'm going to go with Control c to watch B before and after, before and after. You see the difference here. It brings a lot of uh, the realism, uh, a lot of details here uh, in the lamps and all of these things. So now, uh, what can I do? Well, I can go to. Well, I'm going to go to filter, uh, discharge, and diffuse glow. This also helps a lot. Uh, so I'm just going to use a little bit of it. I don't want to uh, use too much of it, so I'm just going to make this like this, okay? Mm, and you know what? I went too far with it. I'm going to filter again, uh, distort, diffuse glow. And I'm going to make something like this. I want to m uh, make a little glow here so it, it looks like the outside is really illuminating this. And now I got a feeling that the sky is uh, too blue uh, for what I want. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and replace color again. This is just about trying to edit uh, details and make him look more uh, state to reality. So I'm going to make it a little brighter. Mm, it seems fine to me. Okay. Now we could uh, also go to image adjustments and apply a photo filter. Uh, well, first of all, I guess I'm finally gonna merge the layers down. We could go to image adjustments and add a photo filter uh, and change different photo filters or play uh, with opacities or uh, select a call for filter. But uh, lately, I've been making this. I create a couple of extra layers here and I select one of them, and you can just uh, copy my settings. I always select this blue. Uh, using web colors it's easier to select a single color so with the bucket tool I create a blue tool a blue layer I'm sorry and then I select an orange layer this is just something uh, I made up uh, and I've liked results so I'm gonna turn the second layer off I'm gonna select the first layer on and I'm gonna bring the opacity a little bit down now if you uh, select this if you click here on this little arrow you will display the blending modes you just have to click on any of them and move your scroll to change from one to the other uh, again I'm not looking at the blending mode in which I am I'm just changing uh, until I find what I like so I was making this the other day and I got the difference and I also played with the opacity and I brought it almost 
uh, uh, to very low values and look at the difference it's a little warmer but it's different from a for filter so the next thing I do is I create sometimes uh, I create the second layer sometimes it doesn't need it uh, again we play with the opacities and we select uh, the blending mode that we want so in this case sometimes I use this one um, in this case it doesn't seem like it needs it so I'm going to select color which also helps and if not uh, maybe tone and the difference is so small I can barely see it but it seems to me like it's a little bit better okay I'm gonna make it a little even a little less uh, intense and I'm going to uh, merge all the layers down and with right click I merge the layers so this is something I also uh, made by mistake the first time I duplicated the layer <laughs> and I changed the blending mode to overlay now this brings a lot of contrast and when we use too much post-production these little things appear so be careful with that but in this case I'm gonna play with the opacity tool and I'm going to get better results look at this it's a little more contrast a little more detail and a little more of everything so it's pretty nice for now let's see how we're with the time um, I basically have to stop uh, but it's okay um, we've achieved a pretty nice result uh, I didn't apply a material to, to this plant uh, the trick here with V-Ray and Photoshop is that you have to apply a material to everything uh, and be careful with details basically if you want to achieve a great render uh, well you have a, a guide already now please start studying uh, you know that you have to start with illumination uh, look for the sound system tutorials camera tutorials uh, using uh, Yes, lights, omni lights, rectangular lights, um, turbidity, ozone, uh, move to material editing, bump maps, displacement maps, reflection layers, refraction layers, emissive layers, um, and then go to Photoshop and look for the top secret uh, tutorials of Photoshop. I haven't around here. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, again, I can. You can always uh, look for me at the forum or contact me by my mail I speak Spanish I'm making this because I want to get uh, to as many people as I can but if you if you have any doubt or you want uh, me to explain anything in Spanish uh, well you can just contact me so I hope this has been helpful and see you around